Lanique, of course. Lanique. 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 Lanique, of course. Lanique. Lanique, of course. No question about it. Hi, my name is Lena Kostovic. Welcome to Life with Lenique. The holiday season is here. It means to take some time to rest, spend time with your friends and family, and time to celebrate. It's my most favorite time of the year. However, it also means that we need to take a little bit of time and give some love, some care to your dance costumes. It's a perfect timing to really have a look at your closet, your dance closet, and evaluate what needs to be washed, dry cleaned, refurbished, restoned, maybe sold, put on a resale, what, whatever items you need to take care of, let's do it right now. So, step number one, let's go back to where we left off. You just finished your dance competition, you just finished dancing, so it means three things. Your costumes are wet, they are dirty, and they are covered in tan. So a couple of things you could do right away as you go up into your room or into a changing um, area. We love this product, it calls Shout Wipes. You could get them in CVS at Staples, I think Staples sells them everywhere. You could order them online and I literally carry them in my purse, in my, in my cosmetic bag, in my toiletry bag, everywhere. It's the best product to use on white, on, uh, you could use them on your satin shoes, you could really use this product on anything that needs a little bit of cleaning. It's very easy to use, so you open the pack, and this is just a wet, wet sort of a towel here. You open it up. It has a little bit of a, I guess, dry cleaning solution. It's, it feels, um, if I evaluate the uh, texture of it, it feels a little bit soapy, but don't worry about it. So it's not really a soap. You take a dress, you have a little spot on the dress, or you have a spot on, the, on your, your short, the neck of your short is covered in tan. You really wipe it, wipe it, wipe it. You take a tape towel or tissue, wipe it really quickly. Two minutes later, it's drying. So this product is fantastic. Please use this, you're going to love it. Number two, gentlemen, have a look at your shorts, trousers, and suits, and uh, uh, immediately evaluate, okay, what needs to be washed or what needs to be dry cleaned? So look at the labels, uh, make two piles, separate them, and send the pile to dry cleaners, wash the other pile. If you have questions about washing your shirts, give us a call and look at our tutorials. So also for the dry cleaners, if of course you bring dress like this to dry cleaners, most of them would not even touch it because this is not a regular item. There's a lot of Swarovski stones, there's a lot of beads, there, there are feathers, there's a different texture fabrics, different colors. So if you don't know this dry cleaner, do not trust them with cleaning your dresses and your costumes. Also, uh, gentlemen, your suits. I've had suits that were brought to us and they were five to six sizes smaller because they would shrink them. Some of them are thinking that needs to be washed. So do not trust these dry cleaners. Have a nice conversation with them and ask them, what do you think? Could you make sure that this item is actually going to be in the same condition that I'm giving to you? Some dry cleaners are really good. So I've had some professional dancers using these dry cleaners for years and years and years. And they are just people that are really professional. We personally here at Clinique, we have, we have a very, very reliable professional dry cleaner that you, we use for Dancing with the Stars use the, used him they're fantastic they've you know dry clean the costumes that are literally in such a bad condition they would come back and they're perfect so if you have any questions if you would like to use our dry cleaners give us a call let's move forward um, a very uh, important area for ladies and also for gentlemen if your costume has anything that is made out of mesh power mesh power mesh is that sort of this small very very fine kneaded fabric. So it's a see-through fabric, comes in different colors. And especially you have the stones on your mesh. I'm going to show you here with close up what could happen when the stones get stick together because it's really fine fabric and the glue, the rest of the glue is on the back of the fabric. So you see how the stones are stuck together on the inside. So if you start pulling them, you may rip the fabric. And that happened many, many times. And it's based on the amount of time that you left your mesh stuck together. The longer it's stuck together without being pulled apart carefully, the more the options are that you're probably going to rip it. So do not touch it. You could wet the glue a little bit and then separate it. So we've got, I'm going to give you three tips on how to take care of the sleeves or the shirt or the dress that is made out of mesh and rhinestone. 
For example, we're going to use uh, the sleeves on this dress. So your dress is on or your shirt is on and you're ready to take it off. Do not pull it, okay? Number one, never pull the sleeves off. Gently roll them out. You see how easy that is? And now don't turn it inside out again. Leave it the way it is. So what I'm suggesting you is tip number two. Number two important thing is leave your sleeves inside out to dry because the glue is still on the inside. You would even, sometimes you would feel it, you, when you touch it, you will feel how the glue is still wet. So if you're going to turn your sleeve back the right way, all the glue is gonna get stuck together, okay? So we're going to leave your sleeve inside out or your shirt or your dress inside out with the glue exposed up and the stones inside for at least five to six hours. Let the glue dry, then touch it, if it's dry, then you're good to go. You could roll it the right way again. So number three in this situation is that use the really just a simple plastic bag. You could use your garbage bags. There's always a plastic bag in a hotel room or carry a plastic bag for this situation. And then when you're ready to store your sleeves that are right stone or your dress, so you turn it back in. You roll your plastic bag in a little kind of a sleeve shaped area. You pull it through, voila. So now you're protecting the sleeve and the stones from sticking in together. Okay, very simple. Let's move on. When you're ready to go home after the competition, do not store your costumes in plastic bags because what's happening, they're still wet, most likely. So by putting a, uh, your costume in a plastic bag and the costume is wet and you're sticking it in the suitcase or you're sticking it in the back of the car, the trunk of your car, we create a sauna inside of that plastic bag. So all the smell that is now in the dress or in the costume is going to just multiply, right? So a lot of you use perfumes or colognes, so no wonder the dresses don't smell good or the shorts don't smell, even the suit, especially with the wool, because you're really creating a sauna and we just, that smell is just vaporizing out of it. So the longer you wait before cleaning or uh, washing the costumes, the more smelly and the more, you know, dirty they're going to get. So make sure that you're using breathable bags. This is a sample of one of these bags. It's a breathable bag, okay? You could also, you know, ask your dry cleaner, do you sell breathable bags? You could go into, you know, um, you go online and have a look at the options you have, but do not use plastic bags. Hi, thank you for watching this episode of Life with Lenique. Follow Lenique Dancewear on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye!